So the tick deck gets in the final phase before they're gonna put the, the Sika Flex, the lining between the between the tick decks. So they are preparing and cutting all the corners and getting all the, the glue out of it. Massive job. We left Amsterdam and drove to our sailing home in Turkey. Where we saw the perfect scent for the first time after eight months. We are refitting her now. She is in a hangar with our keel and mast and in need of a new teak deck, hull color, lithium batteries, instruments and sails. So we finally can call her home and start sailing the world. Good morning. Good morning in Istanbul. We are in Istanbul. Yeah, we woke up. I man, last night I was thinking, where am I? Oh, I'm in Istanbul. A city with 15 million, million people, the same as our total amount of almost our country. So this is different stuff. Yesterday evening we went for dinner with the owner of the house. His name is Walid, yeah. and we met him two weeks ago in Alacati. Five so in his apartment. Yeah, and it's great. And then we have here the view on the tower. It's really beautiful. So we're going to the fourth place to have breakfast in Istanbul. And we forgot there are mosques everywhere. Mosques, so probably we'll be fine. But yeah, welcome to the city life. Where are we mosques all the time? Yeah, it's Sunday morning, so it's pretty quiet. So we decided to go by car because the yeah. ankle of Rihanna is not that good. And Benjamin can't walk that far. Like no, that. no. So that's uh, that as well. We're gonna explore by car. Yes. Uh, on top of Istanbul. So we've got the Bosphorus over there. That's the Asian side. That's the bridge we came from. This is the European side. This is the Jalata Tower. Over there is the Blue Mosque. This is the Golden Horn. And this is the sunset. I think we found a pretty good spot. Thanks, Walid. This is really amazing that we are uh, able to use your beautiful apartment here in uh, Istanbul. Trying to get a fantastic shot of the um, sunset here in Istanbul. Look at this. But I have to climb a little bit on the roof as you can see. So uh, hopefully it's gonna work out. Time for a shave here in Istanbul and we really enjoy being here in Istanbul. We just saw this amazing tram and 
It was very complicated to get a ticket, but then a nice lady came and she said, I will take a ticket for you so you can have your ride. It's very complicated here, so here we are, Benji and I in the whole trip. Although I love my beard right now, it's time for a proper shave and I really like that traditional Turkish way of shaving the massage and all the stuff last time I didn't but now it's time to uh, to get rid of the beard and I spotted two uh, barbershops one with a young guy and the other one a traditional Turkish hairdresser with a moustache So, wow, reborn, a shave, a haircut, a wax, so this is what you call a traditional Turkish barbershop. On our way to the blue mosque. Yeah, oh. finally. Totally a renovation. It was a little bit of a deception. We couldn't see anything of the beauty of it. No, but, but the most funny part is what that Benjamin tried to disinfect his hands and he fell down with the, the disinfect. disinfect. So Istanbul is uh, tiring, Benjamin. So yeah. We're going back. We have some extra food from yesterday evening. I ordered a little bit too much. <laughs> so we have lunch and I think we have dinner as well. We are going to a restaurant from a guy we met in Alanchati. He has a restaurant and now we're gonna have dinner there Lita. with Valit and, the, and his lady. And it's a kind of a surprise for you because we're gonna celebrate our birthday. Yeah, and I didn't know. <laughs> so when's your birthday? 20th of August. So in two days. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. And now we're going again. Yeah. Good work. Come on. Pit stop. Pit stop. Pit stop. We need something to eat. Pit stop, Benjamin. Benjamin. So come on.
So we're gonna meet one of our biggest YouTube fans here. He wanted to be part of the story as well. So here he is, <laughs> the one and only. So what do you wanna say? Hello. Hello. How, how did we met? We're in Turkey. Here in Turkey. You were on holiday. Yes. You're gonna leave today. Is it? Yeah. We made a deal. So yes. you, we're gonna invite you on the boat. Yes. Yeah. Because you're gonna organize one million subscribers for us. Yes, and I'll do that for you. <laughs> Get all my friends to subscribe. Oh, but that's fantastic. And if you don't subscribe, I'll come to your houses. <laughs> <laughs> Birthday today, Benjamin and I went this morning, and now Benjamin is asleep. So I'm going back to the boatyard to do some work, and after that, we have a little surprise again for Rihanna. I'm gonna check the boat. They put the caulking, the Sika Flex between. That's the kit between the between the teak. Now she's uh, almost finished the teak deck, so we have to send it, or they have to send it, and it's there. So yep. So we're gonna have a look at the teak deck. Up again. Whoa, look at this. They're drying, it's drying now. Whoa, this looks amazing. And then they're gonna take it off. It will stay here for 15 days for drying. And after 15 days, they're gonna take it off and they're gonna start sanding it. But uh, they took the plastic off so we can work inside the boat now. So that's, uh, that's a good sign. Club of the marina. Close to the perfect sense and uh, we're just gonna hang out a little bit, swim a little bit and test out our new dome for the GoPro. Zeker! What do you think? And the lady is it's her birthday today. Ah, 21? 22! <laughs> we heard about something. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Wow, I didn't expect this. <laughs> Whoa, what's happening here? Is it your birthday or what? I don't know. Whoa. Oh, this. Wow. Congratulations, and next year, somewhere in the other side of the world. We are. <laughs> okay. We drop anchor next to you, next to your boat. Always welcome. <laughs> Always welcome. <laughs> wow, this yes. is so nice. Look at the beautiful team. Yes. This is what you call your piece of mud and sea. <laughs> I think they did an amazing job so far. It's so good to be on the boat, in the boat again. We're sitting in our cockpit. cockpit. And some of you have seen it already and even been here, but most of you haven't. No. 
and we just want to give you a quick update we went to istanbul we had a wonderful time over there um, a city with 15.5 million people yeah without beautiful tourists. without tourists it was really beautiful and with corona everything was perfectly fine and uh, we celebrated my birthday with friends over there and then we celebrated it back home with just the three of us here in our apartment we rented and now i got this amazing welcoming party here with cake and balloons and everything yeah Super they really nice. make a party out of yeah. it yeah but uh, just a quick update about the boat so this is the cockpit and they replaced all the teak deck not inside the cockpit but all on the decking area and they just put Sika flex that's the black lining and it has to dry for 15 days and after that they're gonna take it off and they start sanding put the pressure on it because uh, the boat has to go out because in September the wintering boats are coming in so uh, that's why they are pushing uh, the railing we do just little part that were damaged yeah but they're gonna sand the tow rail you mean so everything will be the same color. Good morning. So this morning I woke up, I did my morning exercise again and I really feel the energy is getting back. So that's, that's a good thing. So today we're gonna take off the propeller of the Perfect Sense and take off the shaft because the bearing is leaking and there was water coming in. So, uh, and I'm gonna help the, the engineer today. Take the shaft off. We don't we're gonna take the propeller off, is it? No. So we're gonna take the shaft off yes. to replace the bearing because the bearing is... Also inside the uh, plastic part. Yeah. Ceiling. Yeah, okay. And the stoppers. So this one has to come off so we can take the shaft down, get the ceiling here off and get the bearing underneath the boat off and then we can replace it. Today we're gonna check the rigging of the mast. Benjamin is checking already, as you can see. The project manager of a new built catamaran. And we're gonna talk about the setup for the lithium battery. If this uh, has to dry, we can work inside the boat. We're gonna finally get the pole at the back of. The 